Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape update video that I do on this yard that I moved into in Raleigh, North Carolina, I think about November of last year, something like that. So we're actually coming around to almost a year here. Um, I've moved this uh, landscape project uh, quite a distance um, over that amount of time. And there's a playlist on the channel called New House. I'll link it up here in the corner if you're watching on YouTube and you can go back and catch up. There's still a long way to go. Still have a lot of plans. So um, welcome. And uh, if you wanna go back and catch up, you can. Uh, this week was all about uh, prepping uh, for mulch really. And uh, you, as you saw from the beginning of the video from the drone footage, uh, I went through this uh, backyard and recreated the original paths that I had painted on the ground. That's one of the early videos uh, in this series. Uh, I had the drone up above and I painted where the future paths would be here. Uh, in the meantime, they're gonna be pine straw and the beds are gonna be triple shredded hardwood. Eventually these paths will have um, some stonework in them and there'll be a lot of uh, hardscaping uh, that takes place uh, in this backyard and a lot even more in the front yard uh, in the future. So like I said, this week was about getting ready for mulch uh, I've got the drip irrigation down that you saw in the last one of these videos uh, so that I can get it covered in mulch it's sitting on top of the ground right now. You can probably see that from the uh, photograph of the front yard. You can see all the drip irrigation lines uh, uh, out there. And I wanted to get a lot of the planting done. I've got a lot of plants here uh, that are going in the ground and it's certainly better to get them in the ground before you mulch because if you do it after you mulch, you're gonna end up with dirt on top of your mulch and weeds. Uh, in your mulch. So there was a lot of planting done this week as well. There was um, a couple butterfly bushes went in uh, in the front and some uh, baby gem boxwoods uh, were planted out there. I've got three more baby gems um, that'll go on the line, same line that I planted those three on, uh, but the grass in the front yard, I've got it a little closer to the road than I want it. So I need to go back and re-establish, re-cut that line a little bit. Um, I had some extra sod and I was making that space a little bigger than it was ultimately going to be at the time. And now I'm already going to have to backtrack and, and cut a little bit of that out, but that's okay. Uh, what else went up there? Um, two nightlight Cameociferous uh, went in the ground, uh, planted an Indian Hawthorn, uh, a newer variety uh, out there. Um, some of these plants uh, that went in the ground out there, I already have videos for, and some of them are not re being released uh, for a year. And so it might be some period of time before I really spend any time talking about them because they're actually unavailable right this minute. Uh, there's a gold arborvita out there that's similar to that Goldie, uh, Forever Goldie that I've shown before, but it's a uh, one that's a little, it's going to stay a little bit smaller. Again, it's going to be released in the future. And there's a, uh, an upright narrow butterfly bush that's super exciting. That's also um, going to come out in the future. Okay. So uh, that, that kind of covers the the prep that was done for mulch, I'm actually ordering that today. So I'm hoping to have it on the ground uh, tomorrow or Friday. And then next week you'll see that. And I think when I put the drone up after I've mulched all of this space and pine strawed it, and I think you'll, you'll see that uh, what I had originally envisioned <laughs> is kind of coming, coming together with a lot of work left, a lot of hardscaping, especially finishing a greenhouse back here, finishing, redoing a fence lots and lots of stone work that I want to do here. And of course, continued planting. There's still lots of space here to, to plant. Um, but I, like I said, ready for mulch now. Uh, what else? Uh, I went over the planting in the vegetable garden. I went ahead and took out my cucumbers. I've had some, uh, um, some, uh, leaf related diseases, uh, on those. And, uh, I went ahead and took those out and I've planted peas back along the fence. Uh, I've got these cat, you know, Cabbage moths, if you see these little white butterflies flying around, those are actually cabbage moths. And as pretty as they are, they do lay eggs on um, all of your uh, uh, brassicas like broccoli and kale and that kind of thing, which can do significant damage to those fall crops. And so I've planted my um, broccoli and not all of, just some of, I'm gonna plant some every week. I'm just gonna stage it out. Some broccoli and some kohlrabi and some beets and uh, can't remember what else, but I'm also in the process of planting kale and that kind of thing. And so those cabbage moths are a concern. So I have a netting uh, over what I've planted so far. I've, net, I've put the netting along the fence over the peas just because a rabbit um, can do some damage to those peas when they first come up. I have layers of problems here. When, when the seed goes down, uh, if I'm doing something from seed, uh, I have the chipmunks that, that, and, the, and the squirrels that want the seed. And then when things first germinate, it has that super tender foliage on it, the rabbits want it. And then 
of course, uh, you know, a little later down the road, there is actually a deer back here too. So just layers of problems. So I, I net over the seed. Um, I'm starting my seed in the house for the most part, just because, and I'll show you some things I did this week in just a second. Um, I'm starting the seed in the house for the most part. That takes out the chipmunk problem and the, and the squirrel problem potentially. And then I'll just, I'm gonna use netting, um, frost protection netting to uh, prevent the uh, rabbits from getting things until they're established. Once things are pretty established, uh, especially something like peas that grow so quick, if they're munching on them here or there, they're not gonna take them down to the ground, but they would when they're first germinating. So that's the reason for that, uh, that cover over there. Um, the other things, uh, this week I put in uh, seeded uh, all the le some of the lettuce for fall and other cool season uh, vegetables as well. I don't know if you remember, those of you who've been following along, I showed seed collecting from some arugula. I haven't shown the rest of the seed collecting that I did, but I showed arugula maybe two videos ago, uh, how I collected that seed from the spring. Uh, the arugula seed went into a little glass jar. I was stored it in the refrigerator for a few weeks, brought it out two days ago, um, and it's already germinated. So that's kind of exciting. That was seed that was collected from arugula that was grown in the garden from last uh, winter and spring. So uh, that, that's kind of fun when, when, when you do that. Arugula is super easy to do. So, uh, and the other lettuces are too. I haven't cleaned some of my uh, lettuce seed. I have dried it out, but it was so late in the summer. I'll probably dry it out and just go ahead and plant it. Uh, but I've got some mixed uh, lettuce seed that I still have to, like I say, I still have to clean it up. But all of those fall vegetables are well underway. Here we are toward the end of August, and I want to, uh, as things come out of that, um, the summer vegetable garden, um, I'll have things to, uh, to go into it. The other thing I did was I planted some cosmos and some zinnias uh, that um, I'd done from seed as well in the last couple of weeks. There's a couple spots in the backyard here. So it should have some nice fall uh, zinnias and cosmos. That's pretty easy to do if you have seed and you're in an area in the south where we have another eight weeks or so before a potential frost, even 10 weeks before a potential frost, um, you have time to do marigolds, if you can find them, um, zinnias, cosmos. Of course, asters are, are available uh, a lot of places right now, you know, fall blooming asters. Um, and then of course, mums, but um, fall blooming, you know, the asters will come back every year. And asters are also a good host plant for, um, for caterpillars. You know, they're, they're always on the uh, list with, you know, Asclepius and all the other host plants for uh, butterflies to lay their, uh, you know, lay, lay their uh, larva on. So um, let's see, I think I got most everything covered. I filled some pots here already. The, if you follow the propagation series, um, I've put four flats into that greenhouse. Two flats of stuff is already ready. And uh, the next propagation video, which will likely be tomorrow, I'm going to pot some of that stuff up that I've already done and uh, try to get a little growth on it uh, before fall. But I filled the pots for that stuff already. And I'm also filled some containers to do some of my lettuce and containers. Those of you who live in a space where you've got a bright, um, you got a sunny porch or something like that, if you, or you're combating rabbits, something like that, you can grow lettuce super, super easy in shallow bowls. If you go find the seed right now, you can germinate the seed in two or three days. Uh, two weeks from now, you can pot it into uh, little low bowls uh, in September and uh, be eating fresh lettuce from your own that you grew yourself. Uh, during the fall. So um, the, the, I use the little, sh little shallow low bowls. They don't need a deep container. Um, lettuce won't, you know, especially fall grown lettuce won't root super, super aggressive. And so it doesn't need a lot of depth uh, to the container and that saves you a little money on soil. So, I mean, I think that is, I think that's everything. I think the next video you see right here uh, for the weekly update should be the best one so far because this place will actually look like you'll see all the crispy lines on the ground from the drone and uh, where I've been heading uh, with this project uh, all along and all the uh, irrigation lines will be covered and uh, that kind of thing. A few more things to plant and uh, then mulch. And then after that, I'm gonna do a series of videos on all the, uh, all the plants that I've planted in here this year, maybe, maybe the best 10 annuals and the best 10 perennials and the best 10 you know, shrubs. I, I've got those videos planned for things that have really uh, done very, very well in the garden this year. And I'll probably point out some things that um, I probably would not uh, try again. Thank you very much for following along with these update videos. And I'll be back uh, next week uh, with, like I say, a mulched yard, I hope.